Hey, this is John Trent here with Bounty in Comics.com. We have some pretty big Marvel Avengers Infinity War news. Uh, Carrie Coon has been cast as Proxima Midnight, the, a member of the Black Order, one of Thanos' Black Order, also one of the more powerful villains in the Marvel comics. Um, Carrie tweeted that it's true, my voice and a dazzle of gifted animators have teamed up to play Proxima Midnight. Uh, she would go on to say, to be fair, my face is there somewhere, hashtag mocap all pregnant, hashtag Avengers Infinity War. Uh, obviously leads one to believe that she was pregnant while filming the scenes for Avengers Infinity War where she does wear a motion capture suit. Uh, she would say that this was her first Hollywood motion capture experience, but she has done it before for Raven Software. She did return to Castle Wolfenstein, Wolverine, and one other. She doesn't say um, what that other one is, but she says she did all the female characters and some monster stuff. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not very familiar with Carrie Coon, although she has, was, she's has was been Gloria Burgle on, I'm probably mispronouncing that, on Fargo. And she was also Meg Greenfield in The Post. I have not seen either that movie or that show, but she was also Margot Dunn in Gone Girl. Margot Dunn was uh, Ben Affleck's character, Nick Dunn's sister. Uh, she did a really good job in that in that film. Uh, it's actually one of my one of my better films of in recent history outside of comic book movies that I enjoyed. But uh, yeah, and she had like a, she was very emotional. She wasn't afraid to um, criticize Nick Dunn's character and like he's being an idiot and being stupid, but then she was also there to fully support him in his decisions. And she was also like super creeped out by uh, his girlfriend slash what his wife who left him and tried to frame him for murder, not girlfriend. But, so, yeah, Carrie Coon will be playing Proxima Midnight, and Proxima Midnight is a truly, truly uh, dangerous character. Uh, if you've read our awesome story about her uh, and her five fast, five fast facts, you'll understand that her spear is forged uh, in the, during the, a dying star, so it's extremely powerful. Um, it transforms into three, in the comics, it transforms into three tracers of black light, um, they cannot be invaded, although we did see in the trailer, um, the first trailer, that someone, most likely Captain America, easily, it could have been, it actually might be Black Widow too, easily evades one of Proxima Midnight's spear throws. And then we've also seen her fighting Black Widow in some hand-to-hand, -hand, so it looks like she's been a little bit depowered from her comic book version. Um, if uh, Black Widow is able to kind of uh, hold her ground against Proxima Midnight, that's uh, unless like somehow Black Widow has gotten like super powerful uh, from the last time we saw her in Civil War, but I, I, I doubt that. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what exactly they do with Proxima Midnight. Um, it's more than likely that she will be um, on a mission with Corvus Glaive, who is her husband in the comics, to take over the Mind Stone, and it looks like they won't, um, she won't succeed in that mission, as it appears, like from the most recent TV spot, uh, Thanos is still missing the Mind Stone, and possibly the Time Stone, he has all the other stones, he has Space Stone, the Power Stone, the Reality Stone, and the Soul Stone already on the gauntlet, before it looks like he appears in Wakanda, so he looks like he's going to be going after uh, at least the Mind Stone. It was hard to tell if the Time Stone was there because it was hidden on the thumb, but in that most recent TV spot, he had almost all of the Infinity Stones besides the Mind Stone. So it does look like, um, despite that one clip where it appears Corvus Glaive is ripping the Mind Stone out of Vision's forehead, it's possible that uh, he's interrupted in that attack by Scarlet Witch, uh, Captain America, Black Widow, and possibly Falcon. Um, it'll be interesting to see w what else she does. Um, we haven't really seen any of the Black Order on the ground in Wakanda, so who knows if they'll actually even be involved in that battle or if it'll just be um, Thanos leading the Outrider army. But yeah, so that's the news that we have for you today. Uh, Carrie Coon has been officially um, cast as Proxima Midnight for Avengers Infinity War. 
Thank you for listening to Banning and Comics. Once again, I'm John Trent. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you sign up for our newsletter and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. Thanks and uh, see you guys next time.